This video demonstrates how to use Name Mangler and macOS's quick actions to make it easy to rename files on a repetitive basis. Let's assume I have this folder of images I took at Crater Lake in Oregon, and I go to Crater Lake often, so I'm going to want to rename them on a regular basis. To do that, I need to first create a folder called Applications inside my Users folder, not the top level Applications folder, but in my Users folder. So I'll go into my Many Tricks folder and create a new folder and name it Applications and you'll see it gains the applications icon. This step is required because Name Mangler's droplets, which we will be using to create the services, must reside inside an applications folder. They can be stored inside the top level applications folder, but you'll probably find it easier to keep track of them in a separate applications folder within your users folder. Now, let's switch over to Name Mangler and build the droplet that will be the basis of the service. I'm gonna set up a new sequence and I'm gonna have three digits in my sequence number, and let's go ahead and put the location of Crater Lake, and we're gonna add the identifying information of the date the photo was taken, and then uh, space hyphen space to uh, separate the date and time from uh, the sequence number. Obviously, your droplet will be as complicated as necessary for your particular renaming needs. This is a relatively simple example for the purposes of this demonstration. Now that we've created the action for our droplet, let's go ahead and save the droplet by selecting the Create Droplet menu item. And we're going to save it into the Applications folder in our Users folder. And I'm going to give it a name. It doesn't really matter because you won't see this name in actual use. Then click the Create Droplet button to actually create the droplet. That's all you actually need to do within NameMingler itself. Next, we need to switch back to Finder and launch the droplet we just created. You don't need to do anything with it, but you do need to launch it in order for it to register with the OS. When you try to launch it, you'll see this warning message from macOS letting you know that it won't open. Go ahead and click OK to dismiss the error message and return to Finder. This time, right-click on the droplet and choose Open from the contextual menu. This will present another dialog with an Open button. Click that, and this time NameMiggler will open with your droplet. Once it does, you can quit NameMiggler. Next, we'll use Automator to create our service. So launch Automator, I'm going to use Spotlight, and select Quick Action from the dialog that appears. This is how you create services in macOS. Click Choose, and the basic template for a quick action will appear. Our first focus is this top section where we're going to tell the Word service that we want it to work with files from the Finder. So Workflow receives current files or folders in Finder. After that, the other two things are optional. You can pick a custom icon if you wish, and a custom color, though I have no idea where the color actually appears. Once that's done, in the search box, type AppleScript and select the Run AppleScript Action and double-click it or drag it into the work area. Now, you want to select all the text that appears in the AppleScript box and paste in the code you got from the blog post where you found this video link. And now, through the magic of video editing, we'll make that box bigger so that you can see all of the code. Click the hammer icon to compile the code and make sure it turns into this combination of blue and green and gray and purple. Once that's done, the only thing you need to change is the name of your saved droplet. However, I've already forgotten what I used, so I switch back to Finder and check it, and then type it in. Well, I try. I make several mistakes, proving this is a real video and not something created by AI. Once the name is in and correct, I click the Compile button again, make sure it works, and then I go to the File menu, and I just need to save, not export, not revert, but save the finished service. This is the name you'll see in Finder, so pick one you like, because you'll be seeing it many times. Once the service has been saved, let's switch back to Finder and take a look at that folder of images we'd opened originally. These are my Crater Lake pictures that I'd minimized to the dock, and I'm going to just simply select them all, right-click, and select Quick Actions, Crater Lake Rename. And you might think that'll work, but here's what'll happen to you more than likely. If you haven't quit Name Mangler, it will open and not do anything. A service only works when Name Mangler is not running. So I'm going to go ahead and quit Name Mangler, and back in Finder, right click on my selected images and select the quick action we just created, Crater Lake Rename. And if you're a direct customer, the files will be renamed. If you use the App Store version, you may have to unlock the folder as shown here. Once unlocked, though, the files are instantly renamed. And that's how you set up quick actions using Name Mangler to make renaming tasks as simple as possible. If you have additional questions, please go back and see the blog post, and there are a couple ways to contact us at the end of that post, on Discord, or you can open a support ticket.